other students should get this opportunity because it just teaches you a whole bunch of stuff about plants and the appropriate methods of potting and just fertilization and designing gardens and cool watering systems. We had to clear out this big thing so we, this big giant bush. And on accident, I hit it and the dirt flew on Lizzie. And she's looking like this. Oh, okay, so we're gonna do that then. And then took a big shovel of dirt and went, put chow, and it flew all over my hair and my face and my clothes and my shoes. I really bonded us together. I really do like being in the outside in the garden because we're not outside as much in school. We're always inside. But there's a lot of stories to find in the garden. It's really fun, a very team building thing. We've spent a lot of time accomplishing many different goals. That's why it's called a garden cohort because we're a bunch of people with similar ideas who are working together to accomplish a similar goal. I really hope that other students can get this opportunity. It teaches students valuable life skills. Every single day we are at school for around eight hours and we're inside most of the time. If you're just reading from a book you can it's easy to make mistakes and you don't have that hands-on guidance from your teacher who can just help you out. The book tells you about it but when you're doing it hands-on you get to actually feel the experience in doing it. Most people get better experience and just have more fun. If you're getting dirty you get to change your shoes into boots we have forests, we're planting blueberries. It gets you working, it gets you motivated. Before I'd probably in rise eat a bag of chips or something in my spare time. Now I eat heads of broccoli and cherry tomatoes and they're actually quite good.